Hey guys, today I'm filming finally a new Shop My Stash. I really just have not felt like it, um, but I'm definitely ready to get some new items. Sorry if this part is a little shaky. I can't find my small tripod, so I'm just holding it. So I'm trying to not be uh, too shaky, but we are just going to get into this. I'm sure everybody knows what a Shop My Stash is. I'm just going to be replacing what is in these drawers um, with items from my collection. So this is all stuff I pulled out from summer. I never did a fall. So this is going to be kind of like a fall slash winter. Like I say in every shop my stash, I really do want to try to do this more often. Um, I've just been heavily focused on project panning and this coming year, I definitely want to try to just use more of my makeup than I have been and rotating more than trying to like finish stuff. So I think there are going to be a lot more shop my stash, a lot more shop my stashes in the new year. But for today, we're going to be updating for winter. First, I just have a few items pulled out right here that were in my container back here. I didn't use my LMR Cosmetics blush trio at all, but I am going to put this back because these are definitely more summer colors. And I used my Touch and Soul sherbet primer uh like once or twice and i'm gonna put this back i'm just feeling something different i have my becca prosecco pop liquid highlighter that i'm gonna put back as well as my bare minerals uh bare skin i'd like to finish this at some point it's just such an awkward product to try to use sorry if you're scratching nuggets in here on her scratching post but anyway um, I'm going to put this back, but I do want to try to finish this at some point next year. My Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I'm going to leave this out. This is my favorite primer, um, and I didn't use it a ton, at least towards the end. I used it a lot, I think, at the beginning of this update, but it's been a few months since then already, so I'm going to leave this out. It is my favorite. And then before we get into the drawers, everything in this box this boxy charm box I did use so I'm going to be putting this all away and then whatever is left in here is stuff that I didn't reach for but I still want to uh, switch out some of this so I'm just gonna go through really quick that way it's not a million lo um, hours long of a video I have my it cosmetic CC plus cream this is my favorite light has just gotten a little bit too dark for me I had to I took this home for Thanksgiving with me um, but I did have to mix it with something lighter, so I'm going to put that one away. My Iconic Bronzer, I really enjoyed using that. As well as my Honest Bronzer. I'm not going to be opening things right now because I don't have a tripod. Um, but you would have seen me pick all this stuff in the last shot my stash. I also have my Too Faced Highlighter in Fancy Pink Diamond. My Pat McGrath Little Tinted Lip Balm. I love this. So good. This is in no order, obviously. It's just all thrown in the box. But this is a Becca bronzer. This is Bonzed Bond Bronzed Bondi. A Becca highlighter in Dreamsicle. We have some more Becca. Let's pull out what I can. We have Becca Rose Gold. Champagne Pop. We have Becca Opal. We have my Marc Jacobs Face Powder in Golden Fawn. This is too dark for me, so I can only wear that in the summer. And we have the brow pencil I pulled out. This is Billion Dollar Brows. I got some really good use on that, actually, because I finished a brow pencil this update. We have, let's see, Too Faced Blush in Papaya Pop, one of my favorites. My Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer, I got some really good use out of that one. We have Too Faced Born This Way. Um, this is a pressed powder. I might keep this one out. I'm not sure if I want a different one or if I want to go back to this one because this has become like one of my favorites. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. 
We have the ABH Blush Trio in Peachy Love. I went through a lot of my blushes this round um, and my bronzers. Like I was able to make myself, like give myself the freedom to use my Shop My Stash in those categories. We have the Note Blush in Brown Show as well as Desert Rose. Another Becca item. This is the Blush in Songbird. And the Blush in Tiger Lily. We have Fenty Beauty Hustla Baby. And a mini of NARS Laguna. I have two eyeshadow sticks. We have the Kat Von D eyeshadow primer in light and Laura Mercier rose gold. And then the rest are lip products. We have a peach uh, lip oil and the name is off on this one. We have Disney Frozen 2 lip gloss uh, by ColourPop. Rowan Charlie, this is like my favorite. I think this, oops, this is the last lip gloss. This is ColourPop Luxe in Orchid. And then the rest are lipsticks. We have two from Marc Jacobs. We have Screen Test and Role Play. Oh man, dropping everything. I have my Tarte Park Ave Princess. Too Faced Sure Thing. And Cover Girl Feline. And that's everything that I was able to get use out of. Um, I'm going to put this all off to the side and then we will go through what's left in the drawers and what we're taking out from there. All right, so going into the first drawer, the top half of this organizer is all stuff for my Project 5 uses. Um, and then I keep all my lip oils up here as well. Um, so this is just new stuff that I need to use five times. But we are going to be working on this bottom half. So the first drawer, this is what it looks like. I'm going to be putting back everything because none of this matches me anymore. It's all concealers and foundation. So I'm just going to hold them up quick so we don't have to run through them all. Here are the concealers I had pulled out. I used, I don't think I even used any of them. I've been just so focused on project panning, which I want to just rotate around more this year. My Marc Jacobs foundation, I did use a few times, but this is my summer shade. And same with these two concealers. We have a Fiona Styles and ABH. These are just my uh, summer colors. So I know I need to pick items for the face. Um, I think I want to keep this powder. So I'm going to put that back in there. All right. And then this is what I didn't use yet for eyes. We have actually a liquid liner. I did use my liquid liner. This is Stila. Um, waterproof stay all day. So I'm going to put this back and pick a different one. And then just a few random eyeshadows. I'm going to put... Uh, this one away because I don't feel like blues right now. This is the color tattoo pigment in uh, Never Fade Jade as well as this uh, stick from LA Colors in Pool Party. And the rest of that I'm just going to leave out. I took this ColourPop Super Shock in IRL. I took this home with me for Thanksgiving, but I didn't play with it and I really wanted to. So I'm gonna keep that out and then just a few other little eyeshadows we'll keep out. This is all that I've left for my blush, bronzer, highlighter drawer. I was able to get through everything um, except for these three items. This is Tarte Exposed, a cream blush. I'm gonna leave this out because I need to get use on it. It looks like it's starting to kind of go bad. And then these two I'm going to put away. This is Becca Prosecco Pop. It's a cream highlighter, but it is a summer color. And then my ColourPop bronzer. This is just super dark. I didn't use, um, I don't know what to do with this because it is way too dark. Um, here it is. 
way, 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 way too dark for me and for anyone that I, uh, anyone in my family. So, um, I'm just going to put that back until I figure out what I'm going to do with it. And then this is what is left in here for lip products. Um, I'm not going to pick any more. I need to work my way through this to allow myself to pick out some new ones. And there's some really good stuff in here that I really like. So I just need to go through this more and use what's in there before I pick new stuff. So I'm going to be picking items for these three drawers. So let's move on and pick some new items. Okay, so for my first drawer, we have primers and face powders. Oh, Nugget's knocking over the camera. Um, I already have one primer picked out, and I have two in Project Pans. So, what do we want to use? I already have a couple luminous primers. So, let's pick this. This is the Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. It is a smoothing primer. I haven't played with this in a while, so let's pull that out. And then that's probably good for primer because I like, I like I always keep saying, I do want to rotate more often. Um, I just feel like I always pull out too much stuff. Uh, let's see. For face powder, I'm going to pull out this. This is the Becca Hydro Mist Setting Powder. Um, I haven't used this in a while. I used it when I first got it from BoxyCharm, and honestly, looking at it, it looks like a ton of it, like, vanished into thin air. Like, there is not much left in here. And I doubt it still has that hydrating feeling to it, but I'm going to pull this out. I only I have two pressed powders pulled out. I forgot I brought one. Um, the one that I brought home for Thanksgiving, I kept out as well. So I'll show you that when we go back over there, but that is going to be it for powder. All right, now we have foundation and concealers. First, we're gonna grab some concealers and I would like to use the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. And I'm gonna try to stick to like just two things, I think. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Hydro Sealer. Um, it's a, like in between my dark shades and my light shades. So I think this will still work for me. And we're going to try that one. All right. Foundation. I'm not light enough to pull out fair. I don't think, but let's try. Hmm. Let's pull out the Ready Set Gorgeous by CoverGirl. My lighting is getting kind of weird. It's dark out, so I just have my overhead lights on. So sorry about the weird glares, but we're going to pull out this foundation. And then one more. I think that's too dark. What color is that? Light medium. That's too dark. I really don't have a ton for foundations. Like... I mean, this looks like a lot, but honestly, I feel like I don't. Um, I'm going to pull out the First Aid Beauty uh, Tinted Moisturizer. And that's going to be it for this drawer. Next, we have like individual eyeshadows. We have pigments, eyeshadow primers over here, which I'm not going to pull. Backup mascaras back here. But let's see if there's anything we want from in here. I still had a few in the drawer. Let's pull out one of these. Let's pull out Stila Golden Topaz. We will bring Urban Decay bust and then let's pick a pigment let's just go with this 
uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Buff and Tough. It's like a light gold. And that's going to be good for this drawer. Next we have Cream Eyeshadows, Eyeshadow Sticks, and Liquid Eyeshadows. Let's start over here. I think I do want to bring out my Becca uh, Topaz. And let's bring out Pixie Gilded Mink. Liquid eyeshadow, I just want to bring out Cover Effects Magic. I'm gonna bring out Cricut and Millionaire. These are the only two I don't have pan on in this drawer for ColourPop shadows. So I'm gonna pull those two out. They're not very creamy anymore, but I'd like to be able to hit pan on them. Okay, that's I guess good for today for this drawer. Like I said, I do kind of want to keep it pretty minimal. All right, liners. Clearly they're all empty. I don't remember if they're empty last time or not, but I'm starting, well, I've been doing an eyeliner project pan. Um, I just need to film it. I've been doing it for a few months now, pretty much since summer. Um, so I'm like rotating through all my eyeliners, using them either five uses or 10 uses at a time. So I'm not gonna pick any pencil liners, but I will pick a new liquid liner. And I think, it's, I don't remember what order, but I'm gonna pull out the Laura Geller Eye Calligraphy. And then I'll pick one brow pencil, just kind of at random, actually. I think I'm just gonna do this MAC pencil. This is MAC Lingering Eyebrow. All right, and that's good for this drawer. The next door drawer is my blushes. I do have a lot going on for cream blush, but I am going to bring out these two. They are like some of my favorites. This is Milk Work and Lime Crime Java. Let's bring out this Lorac Pro in Plum Passion. I'm feeling these more darky tones. Too Faced, Your Love is King. Let's bring out Benefit Gold Rush. Oasis. I don't have a ton for blush right now that I'm working on, so I don't mind pulling out a few from in here. I think the last one is going to be Kat Von D, Pia and Poe. All right, next drawer. This drawer is my bronzers. Let's pull out my Vesca bronzer. 
This one is nice for a more subtle. This is NARS Seaside. Becca Shadow and Light, one of my favorites. And then let's just do maybe one more. Let's do my Hanali Matte Bronzer. All right, and that's good for bronzer. All right, highlighters. This is the last drawer from in here. Well, actually, it's going to be the last drawer because I'm not going to pick any lip products. So first, right off the bat, my Natasha Denona Glow in medium. Becca Pure Pearl. Let's go with MAC Justine Sky. This is more of like a blush toppery highlighter kind of thing. Pretty Vulgar Shimmering Swan and Glow Up. And then lastly, my Essence Pure Nude. Cream Highlighter. I don't know, I'm really close to trying to finish one. Let's just bring in one. We'll bring in the Becca Glow Glaze Stick in Skin Love. All right, that is going to be everything. So let's move back and we will put everything away. Hey, finally, there, we have everything. I ended up putting primers and cream face in here, like my cream blushes and my cream highlighter in there. We have my face drawer, my eye drawer, which is just kind of all thrown in there, the blush and bronzer and highlighter drawer, and the massive lip drawer. So. That is going to be everything. I'm definitely excited to have a new stash to work with. And I do really want to try and rotate this like as soon as I get some use out of everything. So hopefully I can do that. That is one of my goals for this coming year. So hopefully this will be like a little jump start to that. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video and definitely stay tuned for more and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye guys.